We've all heard about the Boeing Starliner saga. The spacecraft and the two astronauts set out for a week-long mission, but they are spending more than a month in space. Now, it is an astronaut's job. Uh, in fact, it is uh, a fascinating job. It's also extremely taxing on one's body and mind. Space flight is highly risky, and the astronauts need to be prepared for the worst. Here's the lesser known impact of spaceflight on a human body. Take a look. On the 5th of June, the Atlas V rocket lifted off. Carrying the Boeing Starliner and the two veteran astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams. On the way to the International Space Station and even after getting there, the Starliner faced technical issues including gas leaks and a failure of a few thrusters that help it maneuver in space. Since then, we've heard multiple possible dates for the return of the Starliner. Three more days and the Starliner would have spent exactly a month in space. NASA and Boeing claim that the Starliner can remain safely docked to the space station. Meanwhile, NASA and Boeing are planning to conduct ground tests to better understand the issues with the craft. Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are veteran test pilots with thousands of hours of flying experience. They've also done multiple space flights and spacewalks. However, prolonged stay in space can have adverse effects on the body. One must remember that long duration space flights undertaken by astronauts is the result of meticulous mental and physical training and constant health monitoring. Here are some well-known effects of spaceflight. Firstly, when floating around in a microgravity environment, the muscles and bones don't feel the usual stress that they do on Earth. This means bones and muscles degrade, which is why astronauts must work out at least two hours daily. Those on the space station rigorously perform both cardio and weight training. While floating around, people may show symptoms of space sickness such as headaches, nausea and vomiting. Likewise, even after they return to Earth, it takes a while to adapt. Staying on Earth gives us the protection of the Earth's atmosphere ozone layer. Our home planet keeps us safe from harmful radiation, whereas astronauts are exposed to much more radiation. This could have a long-term impact on their health. While on Earth, the planet's gravity ensures that all bodily fluids are pulled downwards. In space, bodily fluids accumulate in the upper body. This is why astronauts' faces appear swollen and they may have congested nasal passages. In space, it is easy for the heart to pump blood to the head. However, this is tougher on Earth due to the presence of gravity. After a prolonged stay in space, it is possible that the cardiac muscles get weak. Astronauts on the space station have to live in a restricted area for several months together. They have to live, work, eat, sleep and carry on with the life for several months in the confined space. This can drastically affect their mental health. Space medicine, an entirely unique branch of science, has been created to better equip and treat humans for a longer stay in space. The space station is 400 kilometers above the Earth. The Moon is 400,000 kilometers away. Mars is about 225 million kilometers away. As humanity looks to go further than ever before, the advances in space medicine is what will make a difference in ensuring longer duration human-led space exploration. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.